Hello, this is Gary Hines from the Gary Hines Consulting Group, and I'm here today to share a short story and a vignette about an experience I had as in one of my jobs that I worked at during my career, and hopefully can ring true to you or have some meaning to you about maybe where you are right now in your career. So as they went around the room, I knew my moment of reckoning was coming. One by one, my colleagues shared all their accomplishments for the quarter and got congratulations for hitting their benchmarks for the past few months. That was not what I signed up for. As the director of education and training for a nonprofit, I thought I was going to be impacting lives for the better. And in many ways, I was able to achieve that early on helping the single mother in subsidized housing, find a way out for her and her family. But just as I was hitting my stride, things changed to one of more focused around funding, streams, grant management, compliance, and reports. I was pushing papers rather than serving a mission that I was very passionate about. Quarterly reporting benchmarks became the focal point of whether I was doing a good job or not. On that metric, I was failing badly. So in that quarterly meeting, it was now my turn. My bosses went through their spreadsheets and saw that I didn't hit my benchmark for the quarter. Their only question was, why? I didn't have a good answer. And all I got in response was looks of disgust all around the room. I wasn't out, you know, put out for this anymore. And as it turned out, though, it was a blessing in disguise. Because my short-term failure helped me to realize this wasn't the job for me anymore. Jobs will always evolve over time, but that doesn't mean you have to grin and bear it. Especially if the new role doesn't match up with your passion and values. I was able to move into a role that I loved, and I can help you do the same. My escape velocity formula will help you light the way. Contact me, GaryHinesConsulting.com, 215-954-8309. Thank you.